what's happening everybody so today i wanted to do a quick video on money as a needed prep not for a mad max situation or an apocalypse situation even though it'd be good to hang on to it but more for a natural disaster type situation hurricanes earthquakes forest fires etc um Something you're going to need if you need to leave your home, uh, get a hotel room, buy food, you're going to want to have cash on hand because there's a definite possibility you're not going to have access to banks or ATMs. So make sure you have that cash just in case. How much do you need? Well, that's up to you. Some people say, you know, three months worth of wages is a good barometer. Some people say a thousand bucks in cash is good. It just depends on your situation and what you feel comfortable with. So what I have here is I have some bills and I have some constitutional silver. I do have, here's a one ounce silver coin, American Eagle. This is very liquid worldwide. You can go anywhere in the world and anybody would recognize what this is. Very liquid. You could trade it in for currency, use it as currency and whatnot. This here is an American Eagle, one tenth ounce gold coin. You can also use this anywhere in the world. Very liquid. These are constitutional silver. Some people call it junk silver, some Roosevelt dimes, some quarters, some half dollars. These are all 90% silver. Now, what makes these 90% silver? Because some people might say, oh, I got a bunch of quarters and dimes. But the catch is anything 1964 and earlier. So if you have a dime, quarter, or a half dollar that's 1964 or earlier than that, that's silver, 90% silver. And I have these all in denominations. What makes an ounce of silver when you have 90% silver coins? Well, anything that's a buck 40 in constitutional silver weighs an ounce of silver so 14 dimes a buck 40 this is one ounce of silver you can't make a buck 40 out of quarters or half dollars so here's a buck 50 little over an ounce of silver three of these a buck 50 a little over an ounce of silver In 1973, America went totally off the gold standard. So this used to be backed up by gold. Now it's not. This is real money. This is credit. Basically monopoly money. It's a, it's a IOU. If it's a decree by the government saying this is worth $20. That's what the government says. But it's good to have it right now so you can get real money with it. But ever since we went off the gold standard, America just keeps printing money. Nothing to back it up. That's why we're $34 trillion in debt. And America pays $2 billion a day on that debt. I'm not going to do the math. You could do the math, but that's a lot of money and a lot of debt to pay off. But a fun fact about silver is it's antimicrobial, which means it can destroy or inhibit the growth of microorganisms. So viruses, uh, bacteria, things like that. Uh, another fun fact is rich people way, way back in the day, they used sterling silver utensils for that simple reason. 
because that silver in the utensils was a backup to kill any microorganism that could be in the food back then and, and help keep them from being sick. So, it, so it's basically a bacteria killer, which is pretty cool. And also, I've also heard that like our soldiers, when they go overseas in a war, uh, I, I, I've heard this. I don't know if it's true or not. Somebody out there in, in the YouTube world might be able to confirm this. But soldiers in their backpack, they would carry American cash and also some gold coins in any country that they went to. Because American cash and gold coins are very liquid in any country. And so if they got stuck in the rut, they'd have something there to help them out with. So other than that, this is good to have. You figure out what you need. But I just wanted to do this quick video. It's a little fun fact about uh, silver and gold. And I hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe and like. And peace out.